What is up, everybody? This is Majin Grimlock, and we are back with Data Live Spirit Pledge HD. And I got a request and a comment about how to farm for free to play people. So I'm going to do a video on that because I know some of the things are not worded very specifically, so it's hard to understand some of it. And also, even for us older players, some of the things got changed around. So I had to try and relearn a lot of this stuff myself. And I'm going to try and explain that a little more. The main thing I'll be focused on right now is when it comes to building your spirits and where to find the things that you'll need for them. So, but right now, I'm going to start with what do we have out? I think I'll try Mana with her. This is the regular 4 star Mana. And. She's at level 1, so it's probably a good one to start with. I'll show you her safety run, how you can get gems, and the essence as well. I already have a crystal. The crystal you have to pull copies of the spirits. On the old version, uh, that I think Mana specifically, all the, there were some free to play spirits you could get their uh, crystals from the story mode, but they took that away, sadly. So that makes that a little harder. But. We're going to start with her. The first thing that you'll need when it comes to upgrading your spirits is money. And the money is going to come in the form of gold. And the main way to get that is by getting gold cards. As you see right here. And the main event we have for getting that is the daily instances. All of these things, all four of these missions are stuff that you will need. So it's not really like one is more important than the other. Is it whichever one you need the most of, you need to go ahead and do that. We're going to start off with the gold because we're always going to need gold. I'm going to go straight to the abyss mode. I'm, you get more rewards, I believe, from doing this. Also, keep in mind, we get the bonus rate up during this time. Oh, wrong way. So, let's go ahead and do that. And also, pay attention to this right here. I believe you will get extra rewards if you complete all these missions correctly. So, you less than 10 skills. I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. I may end up editing, editing this out of the video. Because it may take a while. Probably not. But we'll see. Alright. So I beat this. And I only use like 2 skills. So I get all these rewards. And I get more gold. Now the first time is the you get bonus for it. And you see you only get like 3 of the... Five star with level five gold card. This one you get the most gold from. Then you have the level four, and it goes down and down. But really, you want to try and get as many of these as you can, the level five, because you get the most from it the quickest. This may take a while. You may have to just do the dailies over and over again to get this. Like I said, the old version, I had to do this a lot as well, and it did take a while. And sometimes you will get. This stuff is like rewards from certain special missions we have going on. Like, um, maybe like when Mukro came out, you had special missions for using Mukro doing certain things. You get rewards from that. But, that's one thing. And then to sell it, you go to your bag and you just tap sell. Now really anything in the first part, the item, you can sell for gold. I'll get to the rest of that later that you'll need to spend money on. Because like I said, all the upgrades are in the cost of money anyway. Except for using your crystals. So I'm not going to sell all of these. I like to save some just in case. Just to make me feel better. 98. There we go. I'm sell that. So this plus 980,000. Now I have 4.9, I think that's million. You can also buy some for diamonds, but don't do that. <laughs> don't waste your diamonds on that. We can get that for free. But that's the first thing you'll need, gold. So like I said, some of the stuff, you may just have to keep on doing it over and over again to get it. But next thing we're going to aim for is the essence. The essence. Now I'll get back to what you'll need, what you'll really be spending the gold on later. But real quick, I want to also go over the essence 
for each spirit. So, you can get these from the road trials. That's probably the best place to get these free essence. It's always going to be the low level ones. Like, Yoshi knows what this chest said. And then this one, the wizard essence. So, let's go ahead and do that since I'm working on the other mana. Ah, this is really the annoying version of mana stage, by the way. But we're going to do it anyway. Alright. So, I defeated mana in this roll trial. So, from here, I'll get. I got 13 of her essence. Like I said, you don't really get a lot. By the way, basically all the human characters who have wizard powers, they're going to need this one. So, you'll need a lot of these. Some essence you will use way more than others. Because some of them are exclusive to one spirit. Some are exclusive to multiple spirits. And it's also random if you get the battle logs. The element specific battle logs on here. But I'll also get back to that later. You see, basically a chance to get them right here. But... So I have some of her essence, but if you go to here, material and go to other, that where you can find your essence to see what you have. I have 500 of these. But if that's not the essence you need, but they're just the only one available, you can still go ahead and do that. Even if you don't need the wizard essence or the chest essence from Yoshino, you can still do that for the day. And then let's say you need the Kabbalah essence. What you can do, you can sell have whatever essence you have that you don't need. So I'm going to take, I have a bunch of the yes side essence from Miku. I'm going to sell all of these. And you'll get these purple crystals. So. And then those purple crystals, you can use and take them to the store. And you can exchange them by have whatever you need for whatever spirit you're trying to get. So if you need some more Kabbalah Essence, like you will need for Marina who's coming up. But while I'm making this video, I don't know if I'm going to release it before she comes out or not. But you'll need a lot of that. A lot of these crystals to get the Kabbalah Essence. So like I said, even if it's not the spirit you need, you can still do those roll trials anyway. Do them, whichever one is out. And you can just sell those later to get the crystals. You can trade that for whichever one you need. Alright? So... Let's go ahead and take that to Mana real quick. So Mana has about 500 of her essence. So I'm going to go ahead and give that to her. I'm not sure what level. Have I leveled her up at all? I don't think I have. I don't, no, no, yeah, I haven't. This still stays one. So there's one level of her skill. So she has more skill points. I can mess around with her skills a little more. But... As you see, I won't be able to do these other paths because they're locked by her level. That's what I'm also going to get to next. Like I said, we'll, we'll get to what we're going to be spending the, that gold on we did earlier. I just want to make sure you saw that first with the gold. And I'm going to need some more essence, so I'll probably keep on farming and getting the wizard essence some more. Since it's out today, it's best for me to go ahead and use that. I may also still save some so I can sell later. For the Kabbalah Essence. Because like I said, you will need the Kabbalah Essence a lot. Unless they decide to change that for Marina. But I don't really see them doing it. But. But that's where you get the gold from. And like I said, a lot of items, if you don't want them. Which I really wouldn't suggest doing that. I would suggest saving all those other extra items. But you can if you want to. You can sell that for some more gold. It won't be much. But it'll be something. But. The next thing to level up your characters you'll need. These experience cards. Now, again, this is something else. Sometimes they'll hand out in rewards. I'll show you some of the other places you'll get them from later. But I want to show you the main place in Daily in Instance. I'm just doing the bonus round for now. If you do it the first time, you get the bonus. But you see it goes away. After that, it's just going to be a long grind after that. I'll just say that. So, again, I'm going to go to Abyss Mode. Then, is that Frost? I'll go ahead. Pick somebody with Frost. Yoshi know. Let it go a little bit quicker. Eh, Carter, you come in. Doesn't really matter, but. Because she gets things done. We have her built right. Oop. And we don't miss. Okay, there we go. Alright, that's done. 
I beat 15 enemies, and now since I get the bonus, basically the double rate, I got 20 of the experience card. I think usually you'll probably get maybe 10 at the most. So, you're going to need a bunch of these, by the way. A bunch of each of them. I usually try to focus on the super experience chip. Because again, you get the most you get the most from that one. Alright. So again, you'll have to just keep on doing these over and over again. You're not going to get all of them in like five minutes. It may take you some hours to do it. Just like a lot of games, you'll just have to sit there and grind them for it. And also, when we had those free events, like I reminded you about Mukuro, the stuff we got. This is why you want to make sure you do those and get all the rewards that you can for free. So you can uh, get any kind of equipment you need. It saves you a lot of time. So, back to Mana. I didn't realize I probably should have did Toka. But oh well. So, I can level her up to level 15. I'm going to save the big ones. I'm going to use these purple ones for now. The middle ones. Alright. And she can go up to level 15 after that. It said an overflow. There we go. Mana is at level 15. But wait. Why only level 15? Can't she go higher than that? Why? Yes, she can. But the problem is, she is going to have to be transcended to the next level. So right now, it says she's at transcendent level 1. I need to get, well, she's at level 0, actually. But she needs to go through level 1. And for that, I'm going to need these battle logs. To unlock each of these slots. That's what the potential daily event is for. So I go to potential, potential clash, and this is when you, what are the, oh yeah, this is one of the more complicated ones. You got to beat the enemy with entrance skill. I'll also show you that because that can be a little confusing. Like I said, it took me a while to figure, figure out how to do that. But these are the normal battle logs, and then you have a chance. Just like with the um, roll trial, you probably have a chance to get a box, the random chest for an element um, battle log. Now it looks like it's going to be random though. So, hopefully we get the one that she needs, which will be lightning. And yeah, I think these are the best ones I can use for this. I'll show you guys how to, uh, how to get entrance skill, kills, do a little bit of damage, and then... Alright, just one. So, the entrance kill is not going to do that much damage itself, but you want to make sure the spirit at least a little bit weakened before you come in and bring someone else in. So, I just missed that one. Now, if you have your spirit, there's all five right there, so I get the full rewards. If you have some spirit strong enough, like Kodori or Ice, well, not Ice Prince, but Shirion, you know. <clears throat> and for me not assuming, then you can probably get it pretty easily. Ooh. And there's one more. And she's gonna be burning. <clears throat> Alright, so that one's clear. Let's look at the rewards. So I did get the random three-star chest, as well as the two-star one. And I got a bunch of normal, okay, I got all three of the, one of all three of the chests. And I got some normal battle logs. I have very few of these. There's five and six. And you're going to need a bunch of these, so I'm going to do it a few more times. So I still have some extra stuff left over from my, um old data conversion but I'm gonna try and keep on grinding it then I'll probably fast cut in the video in a few minutes alright we're back I got a few more data logs I mean the battle logs so what you can do you can press transcend to go through all of it if you don't have enough but I'm just gonna press quick transcend and then yeah never mind I'm not gonna do that so like I said, you can also go into the store. Still have some more stuff in there. And let me see. Okay, this is where it is. Oh, they actually highlighted now. Usually they just they used to just send you to the store. You have to just figure it out yourself. 
but it made it a little easier. So you can actually buy these with one of the Echoes of Fate. You get these whenever you do a summon. You get a, some blue crystals. You can use that for a lot of stuff here, including some more of the super experience chips and the five gold card. I'll probably end up getting, well, I will be getting way more when I do Marina Summon. But for now, I'm just going to get a bunch of these battle logs. So, thankfully, this only costs one for each one of them. So, I'm going to go ahead and get a hundred. Like I said, I'm going to get these right back once Marina comes out. And how many of these do I need? I don't need this at all yet. Alright, so now I can do this last step. Alright, now she's at Transcendence level 1. So I can now upgrade her to level 25. So let's go ahead and do that. So it still takes 42 of the meter. I haven't even touched this, the Super Experience cards yet. I tried to save those for last. Hopefully, I won't have to use but I will have to use them eventually. But I tried to use as few of them as possible so I can save them for other spirits. So now she's at level 25. And now I can freely use upgrade any of her skill slots so I will probably have to go back yeah I will need to go back and get some more for essence but we'll come back to this well I want to make sure you guys understand how to do it I believe the number for the essence you need I keep forgetting this number because it's too many numbers to add up I believe it's about 1,500 of each essence so I'll need a total of 1,500 of the wizard essence for models to get her to max. I did 180. So this will be 400. Then I guess like, I don't know. I don't know math. I think like uh, 600 and something. But we'll get there eventually. So that's how you upgrade her. And that's how you use the battle log. Like I said, you can find them in the stores. And that's how you can upgrade them. Let me see. I don't know if you can sell these. Let me see. Material. Transcend. What if I were to... Hmm. What do you get from that? Oh. So like you, you can trade in the element ones to get a normal battle log. What did I get for selling this? Oh, you get gold because this is the simplest one. That makes sense. So you could also sell these for gold if you have an overabundance of these. Again, I still really wouldn't do that unless you're just like out of options. But all right. And also, you probably didn't see, but it did cost money to transcend her. But I'm, no, let me go. Let's see what happens if I quick transcend. Let me go ahead and do that. Like I said, for the battle laws, you just have to just keep on grinding the daily event, and they'll give you those. So. Now she's at Transcendence level 2, so I can get to level 35. Let me go ahead and get her up there. Let's see, yeah, I knew that was... Alright, I have enough of the orange ones. Alright, and now she's at level 35. So, you just have to keep on with that process. And let's see, eventually you're going to start needing the element ones. So, let me see... I can you can also buy these in the store as well see there's gonna be in the default store so apparently the way these work I'm just now realizing this for the element chest you actually need these you actually need the battle log you need for the level 3 chest you will need the normal battle logs you want to have enough of these I still really want, wouldn't want to sell them because you're going to need those too at the same time. So that's kind of a little counterintuitive. I think I used that word right. But there's another place. Yeah, over here you can also get some more of the chest though. I don't think you really need the five or four. Like I have a bunch of these chests. You don't really need those. Unless, except maybe like the very end on the very last transcendence level, which is seven. But I really haven't found myself needing those. Why I have so many of them? But it's the first two that you're really going to be relying on. Especially for the elements. So let me go ahead and... Let me go to my bag. Go ahead and try and 
get some of these. So when, whenever you have the chest, you have to just go to your bag. Let me get the. I think it's, I think it's a one star I need. I'm gonna go ahead about five of these and there we go. I got two of the uh, level one lightning battle logs. So that's good. I don't really need a dark or frost one right now, but I have it for later. Oh, and this one's the choice one. So you can actually choose. And this one you get from the store. So let me go ahead and get these. So from the daily instance, it's going to be the random one you get. But you can buy the choice one from the store. From either the default store. And also from the Echoes of Fate. That's one you can actually choose how many you get. And keep in mind these are what you get from the summit. Alright, so we've gone over how to get the battle logs, different ways you can obtain them, and the experience cards, as well as gold. And we also went over the essence. I told you crystal, you have to get those from the summon. Only way to obtain that now, I wish they kept the crystals on the story mode so it'll be even freer to get. Next for Radiant Spirit, we're going to get to the Sephiroth. Now, every spirit has their own set of Sephiroth that they use like personally for them but you can technically add any Sephiroth set most of these you do get from the summon the good ones so that's something you'll have to do summon for that's not exactly free but if you are like me and you happen to do a bunch of summons and you end up getting nothing from those summons you will end up getting for one thing these blue crystals the echoes of fate but also these time marks the pink ones you can use these for either fate badges or oath badges I will really suggest oath badges fate badges are way easier to obtain and the oath badges are what you're going to need to summon for basically almost every spirit that comes out now also gems I'll get to that later I really want to spend on that but also if you are using four stars if you are trying to use this model like I am I could trade in, you need 85 time marks to get each of her Sephiroth set. I am not going to spend that on a 4 star. I think I already did that for Kagi and maybe Yuzuru. But really I was just saving these for the Proof of Oath and Fate badges. So you really end up, you just have to get them from the summon. She's in, whatever um, summon the spirit is on. The corresponding Sephiroth summon, their their Sephiroth that will also be on there. So if Mana is featured in Marina's banner, I hope not. Then her Sephiroth will also be featured in Marina's Sephiroth banner. So just keep that in mind. But like I said, I really wouldn't waste this on this. But what you can do, if like I said, if you do do the Sephiroth summon, which I do recommend people do, you can end up with some extra Sephiroth sets. They're not the best sets ever in fact most of them are really pretty weak but they can give you enough stat boost at least for the time being until you are able to get the spirits on Sephiroth so for now what do I have I have a few of these I have the holy set I renamed some of them <coughs> who is this one this is on inverse origami yeah someone else who's Sephiroth I was not able to obtain and there's no telling when she's coming back I'm just gonna put this on mana what did this do so this one, this uh, holy set, it restores 10 health, ten percent health on hit, and can be triggered once every five seconds. Also, gain extra pierce rate when health is above eighty percent. That's uh, really kind of useless for Mama, but I'll just leave this on her for now. But like I said, if I do end up pulling her set for a set, I would definitely give it to her. But I'm not gonna waste those time marks on that. So. That's what a Sephiroth, like I said, there's more of something you have to summon for if you want. But also for each Sephiroth set. In fact, let me see something. Uh, a Sephiroth, you're going to need these cute little bunny looking things to upgrade them. And where you get those from? Also, the main place to get that from is these Sephiroth daily event. So we're going to go to Beast Mode, of course. And you see you, those are the highest two. I think it are. I think it is. Yeah, the highest two right there. Lose less than 60% health like this.
pretty easy to do here. No, I bring Moogle Run. Just because, why not? Alright. I will bring AST Origami, but I don't have it worked on like that. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Oh, also, while I was doing the battle log one earlier, I realized it really doesn't matter if you get all the stars, you're still gonna get the rewards anyway. So, really not important. And, yeah, I only got three, and that was with the bonus activated. So, yeah, you probably have to do this a lot to keep on farming it. But if you wanna go to the store, you can also get these with the Echoes of Fate, the Boss Guru, that's the highest one, you get the most uh, boost from it on your Sephira. So if you have enough Echoes of Fate and you really need to upgrade some Sephira, then there's another place you can try and get it from. You can get to it. Keep in mind there's a limit every month to how many of these you can get. So you can only get 100 every month of the Boss Guru. So be careful with that. I don't think I'm going to spend those right now. Anywhere else you can get them from? No, I don't think so. Oh yeah, for some of the five star spirits back to the Sephira, you can also get them from here. You can get you these Roll Origins, and you get those by selling fragments. So I'm about to go back on the, uh, about to go back on this real quick. Uh, so I have a bunch of extra fragments from spirits who don't need these anymore. I I have some old ones I don't want to do. I use I just do Shirion Yoshino. Also, there's a thing on the old version where if you you may not pull the spirit, but you can pull their fragments, and if you got enough, then you'll unlock the spirit. But it doesn't work like that on the new version. Eat about 10 of Yoshinos, and I'll get 70 fragments. That is nothing. But keep in mind, the higher the rank spirit, the more um, roll origins you'll get. So you'll get more from a five star spirit than you will from a four star. But I don't think I need any of origamis like ever. I definitely don't need any of models. So all 707. Yeah, now I'm getting 2,828. Alright, let's go back to the store. Origin. And I have 14,000. So if you need Kurumi, Sephira, a Coterie, Natsumi, Ellen, or Angel Origami. Those five, is right now I think there's the only one that probably adds more later. But these are the more common spirits. So you can, if you have enough extra fragments, you can sell those. And each of these set for costs 3,000. So you need 9,000 for a full set if you don't already have at least one of the set. So that's how you can get these. The rest of them, like I said, for Mukuro, Rene, anybody else, Queen, you'll have the summer for that when they come back out. So it's set for, let me get back to this one, this GLB Holy set. You go to Enhance. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the boss rule. I have a bunch of these. Max it out. And you see it costs a lot of gold. It's 180000 This is why I showed you guys the gold first. Because a lot of these upgrades are expensive. And it does add up. You will probably end up running dry on gold. Way quicker than you expect. So enhance. Alright. And then as you see. You can also get some stat boost from each of the sets. You'll get attack, defense, and health. They're also very different on the old version, and I may explain that later. But I'll explain that when I get to the gems. But next is Star Up. To upgrade, to raise the star, well, we're not going to raise the star yet. But to raise the cap from 50 to 55, you'll need a copy of a several of the same type. What I mean by type, I should have gone over that. Each of these Sephira have this type up here. See, this one is Malkuth, and it goes on the tree. They move the tree. I can't remember where it is. Combo. Okay, it's on the combo. So each Sephira set, like I said, even if you don't have a full set, you can try to make something with these combos, and you get a boost depending on which ones you have. So this one is Malkuth, and then the which one is the Holy set? One is the Mutt one. This one is yes side. So. If you have any Malkuth with the side, the combo you'll get is. See, now, really, now let me click on it. Okay, there it is. You get extra movement speed. So, this one with 
an NES style will give you plus five percent movement speed with, without upgrade. But once you, you know, it's still gonna be five percent. I bet. I was looking at the wrong thing. So that's your spirit typing, and that's important because if you want to raise the level cap, you'll need a copy of another another Stephira of the same type. So I'll need another Malka. So I have this other random set. A lot of these extra five star ones, their only purpose is to star up your Sephira. Like if you have a Malka for another spirit, I'm not, I can't think of any off the top of my head. These is solely just to star it up. And this costs a lot of gold, 250000 This might have better be somewhat worth it if I'm wasting all this money on her. Alright. You see it's going to cost 500000 to do it again. But first you have to go and upgrade it. So let me go ahead and do that. 60000 Then I have to get another copy. Do this other Malkuth, which is still Anna K. 500000 like I said again, this is why I showed you guys the gold first. You're gonna need that gold. That's the first thing you're gonna need. Alright. Now it's at max. And you see as I level up the stats keep going up along with it. And now to start up to six star, go from five to actually six star. And you see it's gonna be a big stat boost with that. You'll need a copy of the exact same Sephira. So that's when you're doing summons, like when Marina comes out, if you want her the six star, you have to actually get two copies of each of the Sephiroth. Don't use that immediately. Save the copy of that Sephiroth set for last. You'll need a copy of some other Malkuth set, like for this or whichever ones, whichever type each of Marina said, I have to go and check that. But you'll need another type to actually upgrade that. And then save for last your second copy. I'm going to use this. Right, and this costs seven hundred fifty thousand. And this is now a six-star Sephira. You see, it's a seventy-seven attack, fifty-three defense, a thousand nine hundred ninety-five health. So, I think it's best for me to save this set actually. Replace. There we go. So, that's how you upgrade Sephira to six-star. This. How you get the material you need gold, and like I said, a lot of that gonna come from the summon, the several copies you'll need, and then the guru. This was those little rabbit things I call. You can get that from the Sephiroth event and also from the store that I showed you with the Echoes of Fate. Last but not least, so I save this one for last, the gems. Gems are probably the most complex part when it comes to upgrading your spirits. Alright. So first thing you want to do. And look at your spirits recommended gem set. So for this one, it's the Aquarius set they recommend for her. Let me see what that does. I say I didn't haven't really focused too much on mono skills. I never I never used this. And I always like the Vanagonda mono version better. But also recommend gem that usually have a little thumbs up for you, so you'll know so it'll be easy for you to find and. It was awakening skill damage plus 25 percent and after she used the awakening all teammates gain uh, extra attack boost looks pretty neat like i said if i actually use this model i may bother changing it if i'm not going to actually use her then i'm really not going to waste my time but since i have a bunch of these i'm going to go ahead and equip them then i'm going to show you guys how to get some more i changed my mind because i realized they was pretty dumb let me slow down for a second I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to get some more gems. One of the main ways to do it is by the demon hunting. Now, I'm still trying to get used to this schedule myself. But apparently, there's a certain types of Sephiroth that you'll get every day for each, uh, for each gem. I mean, there's certain gems that you get each day where the demon hunting is going to reset. And I don't see, don't see the one that she's going to need. Let me try this anyway, see what happens. I realize the skill cooldown for a cannon mode is way faster than her X mode. This is something I've been took note of, just really kind of forgot about it. So I use it so often. But yeah, I didn't get any of the ones that I needed. 
which is the Aquarius set, because that one's not featured today. Of course. So there are a couple other ways that you can obtain this. You can try using the club points, which you'll get from basically if you go into if you're part of a club. I do suggest everyone try to get to a part of one, try to join a club. But you gain club points based by playing the game, going online, completing missions, and all that. You'll get uh, club points for doing that. You can, if you choose to, take your chance with this five-star random gem. So I'm gonna do all ten of them. Hope I get some Aquarius sets, and you have a chance of getting them. You could get lucky, could not. Hey, I got one of them. Gotta work. And I'm gonna show you what. We also can get an essence uh, gift box. So if you need some essence, you can also choose to actually you can actually choose your essence from this gift box. And you can actually use those again if you're trying to get like the Kabbalah or inverse essence. You can uh, just buy a bunch of other ones then sell all of that. That's what I did before. But anyway. I will show you what this reforged liquid is in a second. Also, you can use this with your same thing with the fragments if you're not, if you don't need any um sephira, which I really don't. Then you can use this for that. Let me go ahead. Use about nine. I got plenty of them. Didn't get lucky this time, but oh well. But yeah, like I said, the. Gems apparently they change up every day. It took me a minute to realize this. It depends on which depend on which demon is out that day. So do they tell which ones? Yeah, it actually does. Let me see. So I'm gonna look for the Aquarius set. The Aquarius set will be out on Wednesday. When I fight the Thunder Ram. Is there another day? Oh you just get it's gonna be random on uh it's gonna reset probably like six o'clock. I'm not sure if it's 6 o'clock my time or someone else's time. But you'll get it'll be random whichever one you get during the weekend. So keep that in mind. But on Wednesday, I'll be able to get the Aquarius set specifically. I probably could have waited a few hours and waited for this one, waited for Bell to come up. I probably had a chance to get it, but oh well. We're here now. Now, like I said, with gems, it gets a little bit complicated. That's why I say this for last. I'm gonna go ahead and equip all of these, and all the uh, gems they're gonna have random stats on it. Whichever one is at the top, you're gonna end up getting the highest stat boost for that, and it's gonna be gold. I think the ranking for it goes: gold is gonna be worth the most, and increase your BP the highest. And then I believe it's purple, then I want to say blue, then green. I feel like I missed something because they changed it on the old version. Because on the old version, these were on your Sephira. So these, all these stats came on your Sephira instead. And the gem just had a bunch of other effects. Like crit damage boost and all that. So they basically swapped it out between the Sephira effects and the gem effects. But for now I'm just going to put... Uh, I'll put this one here because I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. Alright. So... Have all of her gems equipped, but they're all at level zero right now. So I'm gonna press this button that says enhance down here. I'm gonna go to enhance. And what you can do, you can pick any other gems that you have that you really aren't using or don't plan on using, and you can use these to upgrade. So I'm gonna pick, I don't plan on using these at all. What is this? I don't know. If I don't know what it is, I definitely plan on using it. Alright, and then you see this one only has three stats. When I start upgrading, it's going to add one random stat. Alright, it took me to level four. Now, okay, I didn't, I didn't really want to try this. Let me change this to the sim. Wait, no, not that. Well, that'll work. Let me pick one of these that's already upgraded. That don't have on anybody. Eh. Uh, wait, huh? Uh, about this one, and 
Okay, so if you use gems that you already have maxed out, then I guess it'll actually increase your um actually increase it even faster. I never bothered this because I didn't want to use gems that I already you know had maxed out. Hey, and it doesn't cost that much. Only nine thousand gold. It's actually pretty cheap compared to the other stuff, like the seven hundred fifty thousand Sephiro Star Up. And these are all the attack boosts that I have. Independent attack up to 2233. I realized with the Atomus, which is the yellow gem, it's always gonna the first one is always gonna be the independent version. There's always gonna be a flat number like 233. But the rest of them is gonna be up by percent. So it goes like 42%. Which can end up being more than what you get from 233. I believe that kind of depends on your spirits base stats already. Something like that. But another way to upgrade it is, which can sometimes be way faster, is to use these. And this, you can get these by selling gems that you already have. So I'm going to go to my bag. You go to gem. And which one should I sell? Uh, I'll just pick, if it's not on the spear right now, I probably wasn't going to use it. Let me just sell some of these. Oh, no, no, I'm not going to sell it. Well, it's on Miku. Just sell a bunch of them. And you see, you get a bunch of these gray experience gems. It's not very much, but I have plenty enough right now. I just want to show you guys how you can sell it and get more of that. I don't believe there's not really an event where you can obtain that. You can only gain those by selling gems that you already have. So, again, just like I showed you with the roll trial, where you can just get the essence that you can sell, you can do the same thing with the demon hunt and get gems just for you to sell them as well. So, same strat. Alright, that's tomorrow. So, now I'm going to use these to upgrade one of these. And I picked this one. It's going to give me another random stat up here. I'm going to go ahead and do, well it automatically picks the max amount that you have, but max amount that you'll fit. So it goes up to 20, enhance, alright, so there's two of her gem sets at max. Now I skipped this one because I don't like these stats on here, I am not a fan of it. So how do I change this? That's what the reforge button is for. So you go to reforge. These are two different types of reforge. I don't think you can get these anymore. Now this is something that only those old players were able to get. So I'm saving that. But this blue one, anyone can get. And where you can get these from? In the training store for one place. Basically only in the store. Again, it's something you may be able to get when we have special stores coming like with Mukuro. I don't remember if that was in there. It might have been. I'm pretty sure I would have bought them. But you can get one of these a week from the, your club points. Let's see, you can also get these with the origin fragments. So basically, a lot of this stuff is also going to be in the store if you're looking at it. So some of the I already showed you guys how you can get those the origin and the club store by selling fragments and doing the club points. You don't get very many of them, so use them wisely. And the problem with using that one, I'll show you the difference. So the problem with using that one is, it's going to be random. So I use the blue one, and it's going to be a random stat set. And actually like this, I like to always have attack be the one on top. They're just me personally. But I don't really care for the rest of the stats. So I'm going to abort. And you see it's... Even though I didn't keep it, it still cost me one of those reforged liquids. So let me try again. See, that one I like a little bit more. So I'm going to keep that press reforged to confirm it. And now the stats have officially been changed. Now for the older players, if you still have this one, you probably know you can actually pick which stat you want to actually change. So I'm saving that you know, until a blonde comes back out so I can change some of hers. I know I probably want to. So let me go ahead and upgrade all these to max. Alright. And now we have Mana at 
10,000 BP. Like I said, I can still get some more for Essence. I showed you guys you can, I'm probably just going to keep on doing the roll trials to get some more for Essence so I can sell that. Or I can just keep on doing when her Wizard Essence is out, keep on doing it to get that. It'll take a minute. It's not going to be like something to do in an instant. You, it may take a few days to do that. It took me a while to grind up some of my spirit stuff. And also keep in mind when we have some free stuff come out when certain spirits come out like Mukuro. Make sure you take advantage of it and get whatever you can for free. But those are the ways that you can get stuff like when we have dry periods like we've had for the last few weeks since Mukuro banner went down. That's what you could be doing to gain more gold, whatever you need for your spirits. So, that's pretty much the gist of it. I know I didn't go all the way through with mana. <coughs> okay, I'm trying to save those materials myself. Kind of, I'm going to need a lot of this for Marina, who's also lightning. Looking back at this, I actually regret this. I should have done Toka. So, keep that in mind for people who plan on summoning for her. And this shows you what you'll need for all the rest of the steps, by the way. So eventually you'll start needing the two star battle logs, the element battle logs, all that, two and three star. And five star probably like the last couple of steps you'll need those, get the purple ones. But, like I said, that's basically it. Um, I hope this video was helpful to some people. Because I know it's, it's a real long process trying to upgrade your spirits. But, we have dry periods like this, this is probably the best time to do it. This is why I'm actually glad we've had some time off. Give us time to do this stuff and get um, whatever material we need without wasting them on the new spirit every two weeks. But let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I hope this was helpful to people. If it was, please like and subscribe. And if there's something you still didn't understand or something... I missed or something you want me to go over further please comment down below and I'll see if I can explain it a little better in the future so thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time